Hey guys, it's Ron from Rev Moto. So today we're gonna to be working on this 2020 Toyota Tacoma front bumper grill removal and installation. But we're not gonna just change it out to the regular uh, Tacoma grill, we're gonna change it out to the TRD Pro with the Raptor lights. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And also, if you guys need this grill for your vehicle, the link is up above and also down below. If you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmotor.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is lift up the hood. All right, once we have that uh, hood lifted up, you go behind the grill right here, you're gonna see these bolts right here, one on each side. And also, let's see if I can show you guys that push pin. It's gonna be, oh, it's back here. Right there. Okay, we're gonna take that off also. Let's go ahead and get started with those bolts. All right guys, so with the bolts, you're gonna need this 10 millimeter right here. Just like that. You're gonna, you don't need the extension, but if you guys have a short one, get the extension. But if you guys have the longer one, you don't need the extension, okay? So get a ratchet set right there. Right here is going to be a 10. Oh, looks just like that right there. It's going to be another one on the other side. And then right here is going to be a push pin. So let me guys show you that. All right, I kind of pointed at the wrong location. But right here where the headlight is, there's going to be a push pin. So go ahead and take that off. So you can have a uh, flathead screwdriver, take that off. Just like that. And it looks like that. And just one on the other side. All right, so same location where the headlight is. There you go. All right, guys. If you guys locate your horn area right here, where the um, the driver's side is, there's going to be this little prong-looking thing. So it's basically a tab that has the wires connected to it. Just get a flathead, and you can press down on each side like that, and then press down. It should release that uh, wire. Okay. So now we can go ahead and pull that uh, grill off. All right, so on this one right here, on this tab, it's going to pull off like that, and then let's go to the side. And you can just pull it off like that. Oh, so let me show you guys this wire right here. It's a good thing we didn't pull too hard because there's a wire right here. Let me get you guys a little bit close so you guys can see that uh, wire. All right, so when we took off this little tab right here, there's a wire that's connected, so just go ahead and uh, push down on the wire, on the on the tab, and it should release it. It's kind of stuck. Get a flathead. It's kind of stuck, so there we go. So show you guys what I did so on this tab right here on the top part right here to release it it's kind of hard because it was kind of stuck but I used my fly head right here and I just press down on this like that and it popped right out okay so when you guys order that uh, TRD Pro grill with the Raptor lights what you're gonna get is the uh, TRD Pro grill the letters are right here if you guys order the uh, ones with the Raptor lights, you're going to have the Raptor lights with the wire harness right here. And if you guys have that sensor in front of your vehicle, you're going to have this cover also. Okay? So that's what it looks like. And then let's go ahead and remove the... Disconnect actually the original grill. Alright, with the grill, we're going to go ahead and flip it upside down. So get something uh, with some cushion on it so it doesn't mess up your paint job. Alright. And then get yourself a Phillips screwdriver like that. And we're gonna take off some screws. 
Okay, right, so if you guys look on this uh, on this grill, there's gonna be screws like inside. So like one right here, one right here, one in there. It's like surrounding the uh, the grill itself. Okay, so we're gonna work our way around. But don't take any of the screws outside. So anything closer to the outer edge, you don't need to take those off, okay? We're just taking off the inner screws. All right, so we're gonna locate those inner screws. So anything here, close to this edge right here. So boom, one right here. Follow that along. It's gonna be another one over here. So again, just Get close to this and just follow along this outer rim right here. And you're gonna find some screws right here. Just follow that. So you're gonna have one right here. Follow it, follow it. Another one right there. All right, so keep following it. And you're gonna have another one right there. And then another one there another one right there another one right there and another one right here so there should be eight of them okay all right so if you guys have this sensor right here you're gonna go ahead and unplug it so again if it's if it's too tight so unplug it right there Then right here, just use a flathead. And kind of pry it up. And that should be all. Yep, that's it. All right, so wherever you guys took off those screws, you're gonna see these tabs right here, okay? So it's gonna be a couple, a few of them actually. So you're gonna start off with the, the corner one and release that one. And as you guys can see right there, let me see if, I, if you guys see it. I'm kind of holding down. Whenever I press down, I kind of hold it down with my finger and then just keep pressing down. That just, that just makes it not pop back up. So. Okay. So there's more on the other side right here. guys so you guys can see now there's two pieces to it so that's the grill I'm gonna go ahead and put the TRD Pro grill on there all right so with the new TRD Pro grill all you got to do is line up the tabs okay just like how you did it before just line up the tabs with the holes so hopefully you guys can see right there. All right, so remember, line up the tabs first before you start pressing down on it. All right, so it should slide in pretty easily like that. And you should be able to just go ahead and uh, hit it down like that. And you hear it, click. All right, so kind of tug at it and see if it doesn't move. So there you go, that's one piece of the TRD Pro. All right, so now this one right here, if you guys have that sensor, we're gonna have to take that off. So we're gonna put this to the side. Alright, so where the emblem is right there, some of, some of you guys have this sensor. Go ahead and uh, get a 10 millimeter.
take off these bolts right here. Then get a uh, a Phillips and take off this one right here. And it should slide off. Uh, on the old grill, you gotta take off this. Uh, it's like a, I guess like a little washer. Take that off. So all you do is slide it out. So now this is the new TRD Pro grill that you guys bought from us. So you just go ahead and get that uh, washer right there and slide it in from here. Just like that. Do the other thing on the other side. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put that sensor back on. Pretty simple. So just line up the holes. There you go. So it should look like that. Get your bolts. So if they're not pressed in all the way, they're not gonna line up. So make sure they're pressed in all the way. All right, now they're lined up. Get your 10 millimeter and tighten it up. And then a screw right here. Okay. And then, let me see if I can move this down a little bit. So I need it to go over here. But go ahead and plug it up first. Just like that. Hmm. I guess if you guys kind of rotate it, it goes down. Oh, you know but I think there we go. So there you go. So if you just wiggle it down, it'll go all the way down here. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the grill back on. Okay, one of the things you guys have to do is uh, line up those tabs with these slots, okay? So once you line those up, you can press down on it and then we can go ahead and hook it up. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a side view. So hopefully I don't block you guys. So just line up the tabs like that. Should line up by itself, but just in case. Okay. Kind of press down on it. Tug on it. Yep, that's in. That's in place. So we're good to go. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put the bolts in place. We're gonna secure it so just in case this uh, grill falls down 
or if it does fall down, it's secured by these bolts. And remember these push pins right here? They go near the headlight area. All right, so there's gonna be these push pins right here on each side. So remember, it's near the, uh, the headlight and it's these things right here. Pretty easy. Oh, so if they're not pushed up like that, all you do is uh, get a flathead, basically, and push them up, okay? They should go in fairly easily, yep, yeah, like that. All right, so now with this bag of goodies right here, you're gonna have all the letters, okay? So here's one example of why. And then screws, right there. And I know what you guys are gonna say, why didn't you put these on first? I'm not gonna lie, I forgot. It's okay. There's like a lot of room in here to put your hand in, and you can screw it in by hand, okay? So, just look behind there, and you'll see like the screws. So just use these screws, okay? All right, let's get started. All right, I'm gonna start off with the Y because that's the one that I have already taken off. So just line it up. So I'll be honest, it's probably easier if you had it off already, but it's okay. Things happen. See, let me count how many screws I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so all you need to do is like put these screws on these ones with the holes in them. So I got, I got 12, but I counted 11. Unless I don't know how to count. I guess we have one extra screw. Yeah, that looks that looks nice. So you don't have to like tie them all the way because they just keep rotating, but they're pretty secure. Oh, I should have done Yoda. So you can't put the O in any regular O. There's like a special place for that O. There you go. So one thing that I noticed was like the O, you gotta make sure like the holes match up with these holes. I had it upside down a few minutes ago. That's why I couldn't get the holes in. But that's how you do it. This one, the holes are on the bottom. This one, the holes are on top. All right, Toyo, got Toyo on, and we need a T. Oh. So, let me see, ah, okay. I gotta take off the Toyota. That T, see this line right here? This T has that line. This T doesn't have the line. Ah, I gotta take this one off. Take that off, switch it over here. Now we got Oyolt. Oyolt. All right. Now put that other T right here. Now the A. All right, Toyota. So just remember 
the O's got to be in the right places and the T's got to be in the right places. All right, so this is the back view of the grill. So what I'm going to do is, uh, all right, so just get these wires, find the uh, plug. We got four plugs and all you do is just, uh, it's just snap into place. If they're not snapping in easily, that means you have them upside down. There we go, you should hear that click. So let's see if I can show you guys how that clicks. Okay, so we have this plug right here. You see like that? It should be like that. Get one of your plugs and see that top part? All right, I'm gonna try this one-handed. And then there you go. And it should click like that. Do that for the other three. Man, I can't count today. I meant the other two. So just making sure like the wires right here. You just put them underneath. So we're gonna run them through this way. Behind the uh, headlight like that. Okay, and we're gonna zip tie it over here. So go ahead and um... oh, yeah, we almost forgot this wire right here. So let me see. I'm going like out of order here, but I'm gonna put that on the side right there. We're gonna go ahead and put those. Uh, Wrap the lights back in or plug them in. All right, wrap the lights all plugged in. So now remember this wire right here that's attached to the grill when we took it off. Go ahead and plug it back in. And then put that thing right there. All right, so I'm gonna put the wires behind the grill and then behind the headlight. And we're gonna go to the fuse box. Alright guys, so the Raptor comes with these wires and they're really easy. You just plug them up onto these black and red. So of course black goes to black, red goes to red. Take off that, uh, ah. so they already pre-sliced it, uh, take it off like that. Okay. I like to twist it and I like to bend it because it's so long. Just just the way I prefer to do it. Okay, and then you insert it in there. Then you get something to crimp it. Tug at it. Oh, see, if you tug at it and it falls out, then it's not secure. All right, there we go. So do the same thing on the red one. Do this off camera because it's hard for me to show you guys. All right, once you guys have that wire, it's now loose. Go ahead and put that cover back on, just like that, and it has a fuse right there. 
All right, so if you just, just got the Toyota uh, TRD Pro grill, you're pretty much done. But our customer wanted the Raptor lights. So Raptor lights comes with all the uh, wire harness. So I'm going to put that in my pocket first. So on this one right here, you guys get to decide where you guys want to put it, you know? Let's see. So you're supposed to just slide it in there. Wait a minute. What? Oh. That's right. Is that right? So kind of figure out where you guys want it first. So I know it's like every other one from what the customer wanted. That look right? Does it look good? Let me see if it, it's a bit up here. It doesn't fit up here. So, this is how it's supposed to look like. So, you guys, guys get to decide which way you guys want it. So, right there, right there. It's the fourth one. Hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. Just playing around with it. You want it like right here? Oh, okay. That looks better. Yeah. That looks good. Let me see. Let's take a look. Uh, uh, I don't know. One, two. Am I missing one? No, it should be four. I don't know. How can we make this thing look good? One, two, three, four, maybe up here? Will we put up there? Let's see. Let's see. Okay, that looks better. Yeah, okay. So, on this one right here, I didn't think it fit because I put it in the middle. It was getting stuck, but I guess you gotta put it on the side and then push it in okay so take a look at that let's see yeah yeah that looks a lot better a lot lot better all right so let's go ahead and push it in you should hear a click So this one's giving me a hard time. All right, there we go. So we should all click. All right. Let's see. You look right. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so now you guys have all these harnesses right here. Okay, let's untangle it so it doesn't matter how you plug it in you just gotta snap it in there with these plugs okay let me show you guys in the back how we're gonna snap it in all right guys on your battery terminal right here you're gonna if you follow there's gonna be a black wire and it's connected to the uh, body of the car that's your ground wire where the black wire goes into so it's a 10 millimeter and then this thing right here we're gonna open up your fuse box okay open up that fuse box and we are looking for 
H dash L P H L H L O. Okay, let me double check if that's the right one. First, high low, high low. First, we're going to go ahead and uh, disconnect the not disconnect. We're going to take off this this uh, bolt right here, 10 millimeter. Take that off right there. Take this wire off. Put this wire back there. And then go ahead and uh, tighten it back up. That's one step. Ah, I got too much stuff in my pocket. Okay, all right, turn it up. All right, so this is up to you guys, but go ahead and take off this, off your uh, lid. And if you guys look back here, let me see, put this to the side. So if you guys look right here, I'm gonna go with the uh, one, two, H L L H L O, which is gonna be the let's see the second one, so the middle one. So basically, so basically the second one. Hopefully, I can put this out of the way. All right. So you see these three right here? Let's go in the opposite direction. Count one, two, three. So the middle one. This one right here. All right, so you see where I took it off? Right there in the middle. And that's the 10. Take this and then just plug it in right there. All right, there you go. So you guys can play around where you guys wanna uh, put that fuse because I chose to put it where the, um, the headlight turns on, the, the Raptor lights turn on. So I think you can do like the blinkers or whatever, but again, that's how I chose to do it right there. So go ahead and put that um, cover back on. We're gonna test out if this actually worked. Oh, put that extra fuse in the fuse. Oh, that's a, oh, there's already enough fuses in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there.
All right, here we go. The cover back on. All right, so this works out right. If I turn on the headlight, the Raptor lights should come on. Let's see. Did it come on? Ah, there we go. Raptor lights are on. All right, so that's how you guys do it. Now you guys go ahead and uh, zip tie it. Let's see. All right, guys, get some zip ties right here. There's no right or wrong way. You just got to get it out. Just got to make it look neat. And then just, uh, yeah, just zip tie it anywhere you want it. So, yeah, while I do this, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm not going to bore you guys with that one, so you guys can choose wherever you guys want to put that zip tie. Hey guys, I do want to thank you again for watching our great videos. If you guys need any parts for your vehicle, the ones that you guys see in our videos, or anything else, go to RevMoto.com, your prepaid auto body parts source. We sell bumpers, taillights, headlights, uh, touch-up bottles, everything that you need for your vehicle, go to RevMoto.com, your prepainted and accessories parts store. Also, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on your push notification for more great videos like this one. Thank you.